All right, welcome back guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a wind test. Um, it's, uh, you'll see the conditions right here on the screen that I'm facing. Uh, I think there's gusts of up to 45 miles per hour and sustained winds at maybe 25 miles per hour. So we should have a good wind test. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, launch and uh, we'll get right into it. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. All right, so it's uh, holding right now. There's no gust right now. And it's holding pretty, pretty steady. Uh, there's no wind coming through right now at this time, but it will in a second, I'm pretty sure. Take it up above the tree line here. And let it sit there and we'll see if it hovers. Now I want to start here at uh, around 200 feet to see what uh, where the winds are coming from. I feel like the wind, I'm facing the wind right now, I believe so. And it's getting tossed around right now. As you can see, it's getting tossed around a little bit. I'm in normal mode. Just fighting that wind up there. Now I'm getting a strong wind warning. So I'm in normal mode. And I'm going to try to move forward. All right, I'm in normal mode. So it's getting tossed. So I'm going to go in sports mode. All right. I'm in sports mode. I'm getting a strong wind warning. I'm going 15 miles per hour. And it looks like the wind is coming from this direction here. All right, I'm gonna let it sit. I'm in sports mode right now. And these winds are actually uh, picking up right now. Let's go this direction. I'm not gonna go too far because these winds, so this is, looks like uh, this is the way the wind is blowing, so that's fine. So I'm just going to go right to the edge of the woods right here. And turn around. Let's go this direction. I'm slowing down just a little bit. Actually, I'm slowing down to seven miles per hour. It's fighting that wind there. You can actually hear the motor screaming there. If I go this direction, I'm not going to go too far. I'm not going to go over the woods. All right, so it looks like the wind is coming in from this direction here. And what I'm going to do is put it back in normal mode. I'm going to put it back in normal mode. I'm going to raise it up to 300 feet. That's normally where the big gusts start. Put it back in normal mode and see what happens. I'm going to let it hover here. It looks like it's being carried away there. It's being pushed back a little bit. I'm going backwards like 8 miles per hour. So I'm going to put it back in sports mode. And let it fight. Alright, so it's fighting the wind. I'm at 72% battery. I have 22 satellites. It's fighting the wind 70 miles per hour. So these wind gusts are at like 44 miles per hour. Maybe even higher than that. So I'm gonna let it hover here, 300 feet. I'm gonna put it back in normal mode. So I'm definitely getting these uh, high wind warnings. And it's not going away either, so. So it's drifting a little. It's getting tossed around up there. Definitely getting tossed around. Um, and that's it. And it's being lifted and you can see the height 
is increasing and decreasing, so it's getting tossed around a little bit up there. And it is moving around. I definitely don't advise uh, flying in these type of conditions. We are just doing a uh, little test, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm in sport mode and I'm not going anywhere. I'm at 48%. You see how fast that the uh, battery level dropped? I'm at 47%. <laughs> so if you do ever get caught, I mean, just a word of advice, if you do ever get caught in something like that, uh, you know, going straight forward and you can't go, you can't get back to where you are, you're just going to have to try to uh, like I said in one of my other videos, try to go to the path of least resistance and try to either zigzag your way back, go different directions like this, making your way back somehow. Uh, it does help if you have a, a lot of battery left, but uh, in case of any type of emergency, if you need to land, just find a clear place to land. So you see my see how I'm just zigzagging back and forth. Now I'm in sport mode going this direction. And I'm like pretty much right down here. And you see it's uh struggling just to get over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down. And I'm just going to bring it forward just a little. See, I can't even, I'm only going like 8 miles per hour, 9 miles per hour. So I want to bring it down. I'm at 200 feet. And uh, let's make our way over here so I can bring it down. And excuse the sniffling. I'm, uh, every time I come out here in these winds and stuff. So I'm gonna bring it home. I'm running out of battery already. Yeah, these winds are definitely picking up. It's about to blow me over. Still getting a wind warning down here. Put it back in normal mode here. All right, I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you, show you guys how this thing is leaning in the wind. All right, struggling. Bring it up just a little. Look at that, doing a gangster lean right there. <laughs> All right. All right, so the Mighty Mini has proven once again that it is a little beast. Uh, 25 mile per hour uh, sustained winds with 44 or 45 mile per hour wind gusts. I just flew in, I think the other day, in maybe 35 mile per hour wind gusts, and I wasn't getting that uh, wind warning uh, like I did today. So the wind warning, was constant in these winds. However, in the 35 mile per hour winds, um, I think it only popped up maybe once. But uh, it did, uh, it was able to fight through the wind and um, it does uh, stay, you know, stable as much as it can when it's hovering. Uh, you did see that it was getting blown away a little bit when I was in normal mode. But once I switched over to the uh, sport mode, uh, it kind of, you know, stuck there you know, just raising up and down a little bit in the wind, but it did maintain this position. All right, so there you go. Wind test check. So stay tuned for some more tests. I do uh, have a couple ideas coming up. So 
Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and also hit that notification bell uh, so you know the next time I post uh, a video. All right, so uh, until next time, guys, you guys stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.